One of the latest Chicago bars to be closed by the city inspectors is Cork and Carry, a south side staple on Western Avenue. City officials say they were in violation on back to back nights, but the Irish pub is pushing back, saying inspectors were wrong. CBS 2's Chris Ty live tonight in the south side with where things stand. Chris. Brad, for two decades, the folks at Cork and Carry have been serving spirits. But for two nights this weekend, state city investigators say they disregarded the reopening requirements. Last Tuesday, Cork and Carey posted this Facebook video showing the depths to which they take cleaning and sanitation seriously. But on back-to-back -back nights this weekend, when city inspectors stopped in, they found violations. The City Department of Business Affairs, or BACP, telling CBS2 that they were cited and closed early Saturday morning for patrons and employees not wearing face coverings and for operating after midnight. And that BACP investigators returned early Sunday morning and found the same violations. As such, they were cited again and ordered to remain closed until they submit an approval plan. But bar owners say they were not cited for lack of face coverings and have the paperwork to prove it. They were cited for allowing customers to remain on premises, consuming alcohol after 12 a.m., which is a violation. But they say it was staff cleaning up, not customers drinking at that hour. They also provided us with these photos of who they say are city inspectors not wearing masks, several of them who showed up over multiple nights. When the bar was closed on Sunday and the city posted its violation stickers on the window, Cork and Carey covered them up with these posters of a beer promotion. This all began when 19th Ward Alderman Matt O'Shea received a written complaint that a worker at the bar tested positive for COVID-19 recently. Bar management says that a worker did test positive, but never showed up to work after learning the results of the test. BACP, the office that dispatches those inspectors to places like this, standing behind their investigators who were here over the weekend, saying that those masks were likely down just so they could make phone calls, and they were practicing social distancing. However, because of our story, they are going to talk to their inspectors to make sure everyone is clear on that. And one more thing here, Brad, as far as those stickers that are supposed to remain affixed to the windows and doors of establishments that have been shut down like Cork and Carey, the city says those can only be taken down when there is a reopening agreement plan in place between the vendor and the city. And as of tonight, that plan, at least for Cork and Carey, is still not finalized. Chris, this is not the first time either that Cork and Carey has, has been cited during this pandemic. That's right. First week in June, June the 5th, you may recall that was when restaurants could reopen, but bars could not. Cork and Carey did reopen. Inspectors came by, slapped them on the wrist and shut them down. So this is the second in this COVID-19 era. We're going to keep tabs on all of this. All right, Chris Ty, our thanks this Monday.